bleeding all and all the blood looked like it was coming from his mouth and his eyes and he was saying help me tonight this vietnam veteran describes what he calls a war zone in chicago as he tried to save his friend who had just been shot lonnie fuqua's friend is a painter last night he and another man had just finished packing up from a work day in Washington Heights when the shots rang out. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross with more on the story. He's live from Christ Hospital tonight. Jeremy. Well, good evening, Rob. We are told one man remains inside the hospital behind us in stable condition. Again, the other man ultimately shot and killed because of all the gunfire. Tonight we're learning more about who exactly that man was and his impact to neighbors who called him a friend. I heard it. With, I would say in military turn, rapid fire. Police tape lined the streets in this Washington Heights neighborhood. For some, it felt like a war zone. 101st Airborne. Vietnam vet Lonnie Fuqua knew the noises outside his home all too well. Semi-automatic. From the sound of it, I thought people was fighting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was shaking. Almost like an AK-47. I'm actually still shaking right now just thinking about it. Ricky Hill says when the gunfire stopped, he lost a friend. 37-year-old Stony Bay eventually died from his injuries. Some of his final moments spent on this patch of grass. I saw his hand kind of move a little bit. He got up once and he fell back. It just went limp. And he was saying, help me. He got shot in the alley. That had to be for somebody else. It very much could have been mistaken identity. Neighbors say Bay and a 41-year-old fellow house painter finished up work Wednesday night and were walking in this alley. Shots were fired. Friends believe the 41-year-old will survive, but was hit at least once in the back. And he said, man, I can't feel my legs. He dropped in the alley. When he said that, when he said that, it's like my heart dropped. You wonder when it's going to stop. You know, all this, all this killing, it just don't, it doesn't make any sense. Stoney was all about peace, peace and love. Bay is called a hard worker, a friendly man and father, and now friends are calling on the community for help. Hopefully we get some justice behind this. Now, no one is in custody in connection with these shootings. Police ask if you have any additional information on this ongoing investigation to give them a phone call. Live outside of Christ Hospital, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Rob. Jeremy, thank you.